Hey guys, I'm uh, working on this little pressure this morning, and uh, I'm going to do a video on how to make your own gaskets. Uh, situation comes up, you can't find gaskets. You can go to a parts stores, a lot of the old time parts stores have them. Uh, Advanced, AutoZone, Pet Boys, places like that, I'm sure it's got them. Uh, but I just cut me out a piece of this gas material a little bit bigger than the size that I want. And I just hold it on there. As you can see, I've already got it started. I just take a little stick, piece of wood. There's actually a tool. Uh, I've got one. I think it's over at my dad's. It's called a gasket making hammer. Just a little old, look like a tack hammer. It works a lot better than this. And you can use a hammer. Uh, let me try to find one here. Sorry about that, guys. But you want to hold it and you don't want it to move. Just take that hammer. You see there? Just peel that right off of it. Okay. So I'm going to come to this side. Got that. So now I'm going to just try to pull this down over there so I can get it right. I hold my hand like that right there to keep it from moving and try not to hit my fingers. So now I've got that, and this is the side that uh, goes down on the, the crankcase itself, the block, uh, and it doesn't have to be a very big gasket. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to try to locate the bow holes. I just got this a little, it's a head to a body hammer. You can just cut them out yourself with a cat. But I've got another way to cut them. Or six. Okay. Let's see what I've done there. Alright, and I'm gonna I've got some uh, hole cutters and I'm gonna get it out and show you how to do that. Okay guys, you can see that I've outlined the uh, the edge of the gasket. I'm just gonna call it. I just took an ink pen. This gasket doesn't, it doesn't have to uh, go in between the cylinders. This is just to keep oil from leaking out of the crankcase. So I don't have to worry about sealing each cylinder off. So I just outlined I left about a quarter, between a quarter, three eighths of an inch out from the edge. I've got these holes I need to punch out. And what I've got is I've got, uh, it's a leather punch. And uh, it does pretty good. I need to sharpen it. I'm going to sharpen it before I cut it. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I just took and sharpened the edge of it up. And uh, see if I can get this. I just stick it right over the that perforation. I got it down. I'm gonna take my hammer and 
Now, I'm going to have to get a block of wood or something. This is too much vibration on this tape. It's hard for me to, I should have set my camera up on the other side. So I can't. I just twist it after I cut it and you don't have to have this there's another thing you can do you can take a bolt just grind it to its point and when I was had this gasket down on that cylinder I was finding my holes. When I was finding those holes, uh, you just take that bolt, and just stick it in there, and hammer it, just like I did here. And I'm just this doesn't have to be exact. This inside doesn't. I've got my old pocket knife. Old, Cheapo, I got the Smoky Mountain Knife Works several years ago. My little girl's back there playing with her baby dolls that I was going to take to the Goodwill because she had. Listen at her. Because she had a birthday and she's got so many toys, she don't know what to do with them all except mess the house up. Kids today got more toys than I ever had. The whole time I was growing up. And I've already went through my first pass on this gasket. Oh, she's a talker like her mother. You know these gaskets aren't much. If you can buy them, I would recommend buying them. But uh, you can't always buy them. And you might be broke down somewhere someday and not have any way to get to a parts store. I've took cereal boxes, any kind of cardboard will work, uh, any kind of thick paper. Unless you know you're gonna have a lot of heat, I wouldn't use it for an exhaust gasket. I would try to find a gasket that's proof for that. As you can see, it's not a bad looking gasket for a little hillbilly doing it. But it's not. Let's see here. Yeah, that worked. Guys, thanks for watching.